All right, so Overwatch 2, Halloween Terror, first event, first in-game holiday event for Overwatch 2. Um, a little bit of a quick little rant before we get into things. Um, so first things first, I'm not going to rant on the game itself. Uh, five the, the the changes that came with Overwatch 2. I I'm I'm fine with I'm fair game with changes. People are upset about no more 6v6, it's now 5v5. Let's just see what happens with it. Let's not get into too pissed off with that stuff yet. Uh not nerfs and buffs with heroes and all that stuff and bugs. Let, let let's let that take course. If things don't change after a while, then we definitely gotta get on them. But right now, let the game flow. Overwatch 2, the gameplay, the content, it's fine. We got a new game mode with Halloween Terror with the Bride's Revenge. We got the old Halloween Terror from Overwatch 1 making its return. Let's have some fun. Enjoy the game. Overwatch 2, Overwatch, it's a great franchise. However, we got a rant and this is what this video is all about. I've seen it all over the forums. I've seen it when I go to my freaking Google feed. I've seen it on social media, I've seen it everywhere. Everybody is absolutely pissed off with the monetization in Overwatch 2, and so am I, and that's what I'm here to talk about and explain. I'm not gonna go into deep details on Overwatch 1, except I will bring it in to give examples. However, really quick, i played Overwatch 1 since beta, i played since alpha, and of course since 2016's the launch, so I've been playing for the past six years. And of course, with Overwatch 1, I collected every single possible item that you could get. This is a second account. This is a new account. This is not my original account. Um, for those of you wondering why I'm not on my original account, check out our Overwatch 1 playlist and you'll find out. Blizzard's just a bunch of pussies. Let's just put it that way. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into what's going on with the monetization. Because even if Blizzard Entertainment, someone comes across this, you need to you need to hear everybody out because this is really bad. It's pathetic how bad this is. So Overwatch One, you pay a, a, a straight you buy the game, buy the game, you got loot boxes. Guess what? People were buying loot boxes for the first year or two. I say for the first year. After the second year, it was like going downhill in sales. So after the first two years, they're making a lot less money from there on out. So the last four years, Overwatch hasn't really been making much money. So probably why we haven't gotten that much content. How can they pay when they're not making any money? They can't pay the workers if they're not making any money. So it makes sense. So they're working on Overwatch 2. They're doing something big and not really that big. But they're doing something because they want to change how they're going to monetize their game. That's all Overwatch 2 is, in my opinion. Change the gameplay to make it look like it's something new. But its main result was for the monetization. Overwatch 1, we had loot boxes. Why are people pissed off about loot boxes? I have no clue. I loved them, even from the beginning. The reason why? Look who had all the items. I did. Guess who bought loot boxes? I didn't. Uh, I, will, I will say this. I bought a couple of loot boxes when the game first came out. After that, I didn't spend much money on loot boxes. I collected every item by just playing the game. And guess what? If you get duplicates, you get coins that you can go ahead and buy the items that you don't get. And even better on that, the loot box system made it to where you don't get as many loot uh, duplicates as items. So the more items you have, the harder it is to get what you want. But the more you collect, the easier it is to get what you want. Because the duplication system, you would get less duplicates than you would. So let's say, for example, Sigma comes out. You don't have anything on them, but you have every item in the game. If you've noticed, all the loot boxes you opened were a bunch of Sigma items, and then you started getting duplicates towards the end. So there was always, if you just played the game, you would have every item that you could have wanted. Now guess what? That doesn't help Blizzard Entertainment make money, and that doesn't help them be able to create content. So it's understandable they need a different system. They need a different format. That's where Overwatch 2 comes in, and that's where the rant is about to start. Holy shit, where to begin though? Where to begin? So this is the first event, and I'm fine with it. Content-wise, like I said, everything like that, cool. Love it. Let's get into the monetization. So first things first, let's just start off with the Battle Pass. Battle Pass is simple. It's been around. Apex Legends, Fortnite, uh, you name it. Battle Passes, I like the system. I think it's good. You pay money, you get to level up, 
you get to collect rewards, and you get a cool item at the end. It's great. They need to reformat it though. I will tell you what I suggest in a bit. I want to get through the rants first. So the battle pass, let's just say it's 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 good. It's it's good right now, but there is some things they need to change, which I'll get to in a bit. This is where everybody's fucking hating it, and that's the shop. Overwatch League could care less about. We're going to be talking about seasonal and the shop itself. So coins. Let's ignore everything here. Let's focus on the middle. Two thousand two hundred. So twenty bucks, right? Twenty dollars gets you a legendary skin. Some legendary skins cost a little bit more, but that's because they come in the bundle of a couple of other items. However, it doesn't justify the the price increase from nineteen hundred to twenty six hundred because those other items do not cost an extra seven hundred coins. Fucking trust me, they do not. But anyways, that's Blizzard's math. <clears throat> so to get a legendary skin, it costs twenty bucks. I thought Fortnite shop was mad. I've been default skin in Fortnite since the, the days, except when I was able to collect a free skin, and I still went back to default. I thought Fortnite's shop was terrible. This is, they double in price on the Overwatch 2 shop. Everything's doubled in price. If you get if you see it on Fortnite or an Apex store, everything's doubled in price on the Overwatch 2 store for that exact similar item of quality. And that's bullshit. Because guess what? Twenty dollars for a skin, that is that can't fly. That cannot go. I'm sorry. If you're paying twenty dollars for a skin, I don't know, you got problems or you got no problems because you got money. But uh if that's fine, if you got money, that's cool, spend it however you want. I'm, I'm not gonna complain. But the majority of the people ain't spending twenty dollars on a skin. In fact, let's put it this way. I have the money to spend on this. I have the money to spend on this. I have a lot of money that I can waste on Overwatch. But I don't, because I also play other games, and I'm going to waste it everywhere else. And would I rather buy, let's say, uh, an upgrade to my computer, or a skin? Would I rather buy this, or that? This, or that? So it goes back and forth, $20 on a skin doesn't make any sense. So I will give you guys some suggestions in a minute. But hold up. With this event, all the fucking skins are all reused skins. We didn't get much anything new, to be honest. Course, Executioner, Witch, but that's pretty much it. Everything's reused. There's nothing new. Um, we can't even earn skins. Go to challenges. Go to the event. We can't even earn a skin. There's not a single skin you can earn by playing the game. Not one. Not even coins. You can't even earn coins. Yeah, you get sprays, weapon charms, name cards, and all that stuff. You can't even get coins. That's bullshit, man. 20 bucks for a legendary skin makes no sense so here is my suggestions however before we get into that there are a way to earn coins in this game and there's only one way to earn coins and that's this the weekly system you can earn a total of 60 coins a week bring out the map uh 1900 divided by 60 32 weeks if you play this game and complete these three tasks for 32 weeks, that's over a year, that's uh, over half a year straight, you can get one legendary skin. Just one. That's fucking shit. But we're, I'm, I want to go into my suggestions. We already know the monetization's an absolute abysmal, and the way that you can get coins and items in this game is abysmal. Here's my suggestions, starting off with the shop. First of all, you see there's a percentage off on some of these, right? There is no percentage off on any of these. There is no percent off at all, 0%. There's, they just throw that on there to make it look like there's a discount. For example, um, there was a PlayStation Lite at Target. Uh, and Target's not cheap, but Target sells it for like the average price. But you can get it cheaper, like go to Amazon or go somewhere else, but Target's like the average price. Um, they had a PlayStation light, the the X circle square triangle light. It was very small as well. Twelve bucks. I went to Kohl's. Kohl's, the Overwatch Two shop reminds me of Kohl's. Kohl's with their items, and this is why they went to court and lost a lawsuit because of it. And they went, they're, they're freaking close a bunch of stores. That's because Kohl's is bullshit, lying cheaters. One, they have a program to where if you sign up for it, you get a bunch of coupons and you get a bunch of this and that. One. So let's say something's 10 bucks, they'll sell it for 
25 bucks. Two, they'll put a discount on it that makes it 15 bucks. So that $10 item is now $15. You think it's cheap because it's got a discount on it. That's what the fuck this is. That's what this is. This Kiriko bundle. Ignore the bundle that it comes with. Let's just focus on the skin. The skin's supposed to be 1900 right? Act as if they increased it to 3000 They made it 2600 because of 29% off. I know the math doesn't make sense. I'm just throwing out numbers. They, they're selling 1900 2600 for a skin. They make it look good with the percentages off. There is no real percent off. They're coming up with these numbers just to give you a heads up out there. So what they should do, I, again, I thought Fortnite was bullshit with their score, but no. But this is what they should do. Legendary skins cost 10 bucks at the most. Please be cheaper, but 10 bucks at the most. Purple skins cost five bucks at the most. All other colored skins, blue and below, they shouldn't be on the shop. We should be able to earn those. We should be able to earn some legendaries and um, purple skins as well. But let's just say for right now, with the sake of not being able to earn stuff, that we got to deal with the system we have. Ten bucks for a legendary. Five bucks for a purple. Fifteen bucks for a mythic. Leave it at that. Please be cheaper, but that's better than what we currently see. Next up. The way that you can earn coins. Again, like I said, 32 weeks to get one skin. Are you kidding me? Just make this 100, 200, and 300. That gives us three, four, five, six hundred 600 coins a week. So it takes us 6, 12, 18, four weeks to get, a month to get a legendary skin. That is so, that, that, that seems better to me. A month per legendary skin. Not 32 weeks, a month. That's cool. So that's 600 coins that you can earn. But guess what? The battle pass. This is what. This is the one thing I have wrong with the battle pass. Every game has a way through the battle pass to get coins. To one, put those coins back into the next season's battle pass. Or two, to use those coins on this story. We have no coins. There's no fucking coins in this battle pass at all. Every level, every 10 levels should have 100 coins or 50 coins. So we should be getting 400 to 800 coins by completing the battle pass. Like, it should be 800, 100 per 10 levels, but I'll take 400. I'll take something. So my suggestion is, every 10 levels, give us 100 coins. And then, of course, on challenges for the weekly, give us 600 per week. So it takes us about three to four weeks to get one legendary skin under that system. Lower the prices by everything in this store by half. $20 a skin. No, 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 no. $10 a skin. That will be a good motto. And I guarantee you, those that can't shear out money on the shop will hopefully buy a battle pass. And if they can't, that means they can't afford anything. But they will play the game and they will slowly be able to earn things and occasionally they will shell out on some money to buy something that they want. The other people like me, we will buy the battle pass. You got us you got our money there. We will occasionally buy things from the shop that we see that we really, really want. And we will also be able to earn things by playing the game. And then you got the next tier, the third and final tier. They're going to buy every fucking thing imaginable. They're going to steal their parents' credit cards and do everything that they want to get the skins. you got three customers to appeal to on one model. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below because I don't want to make this any longer because it pisses me off. And I hate, I'm i staying away from forums right now because this is all I see. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Peace out, everybody.